more than spelled with one O. And uh, they can get, uh, get my books on Amazon. The CDs, uh, I sell those just on my website, which is ronmoorhead.com, or Amazon, or you can get my books on my website also. Okay, why don't you list your books they can get on Amazon? Pardon me? Uh, why don't you list uh, the books that they can buy? Oh, The Quantum Bigfoot and uh, The Voices in the Wilderness is the other book. That's my first book. That's my 40-year chronicle of doing this. It comes with a CD with the sounds, some of the sounds. I also speak at conventions. I'm speaking at two, two in, in uh, this month, three actually. Uh, one for researchers in Oregon and then another one in Virginia on uh, the last part of the month. And then the 1st of August, I speak actually at the Point Casino here on the, uh, the Olympics over by Kingston. And there's the Bigfoot Convention. It's there first, so if anybody's around here in this area listening to your program, uh, they're selling tickets for that now. And uh, that'll, be, that'll be a good one. It's a nice venue over there. i would never been there before. And uh, then i got a couple more going on later in the year after that. Oh, wow. Well, you know, for somebody at your age, it seems like, you know, going down the river and and, and do, being able to do the lectures. I mean, you know, it's funny. I had a, a friend years and years ago that he was in his 80s, I think like 83, 84. He still he was a camera sales rep. He would sell, you know, rep uh, different products and he would come into my shop, you know, and he lived over by Issaquah. You know, I'd go out there, you know, and, and he would be showing me his motorcycle and 80 some years old, still riding, you know, a motorcycle. And then <laughs> you know, he was sitting there telling me, you know, that he still snowed skied and, you know, he had a, like, a quarter acre garden. He worked, uh, you know, during the spring and summer a lot in. And you look at the guy, he was like six foot three, and I guess he must have came from a family with perfect genetics. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm 66 years old and I feel like I'm wore out. <laughs> Well, I, I am uh, older than that, but I, uh, you know, I'm not like I was when I was 29. I got to tell you that, but I'm still getting around, and uh, that's a good thing, I guess. Yeah, the alternative to not getting around is not good. Yeah, when you can't figure out where your pants are in the morning or your car keys, and you know you're pretty much gone. <laughs> you have to wear your address on your sleeve. <laughs> right. Hey, right Ron, way home. we're on. It's been really good, and I appreciate you coming on my show. Well, thank you, Gary. It's a, it's a very honor and a pleasure to be here. Okay. Thank you so much for inviting me. Okay. You have a great week. Thank you. You too. Uh -huh. Bye. So, you know, I, I would take a look at, uh, you know, his CDs. Uh, if you're at all into Bigfoot, I mean, it, it, I think it'd be a good, you know, something to listen to and uh, open your eyes more that uh, Bigfoot does exist. My feeling, I, I if, if put it this way. Uh, unless I was hallucinating when I saw what I saw, uh, I know Bigfoot does exist. And, uh, you know, I, also, I'm really fed up here. Here I have had another 20, 29 calls. It, it, it just show up as soon as I disconnect off the main line. If anybody knows Skype, please message me, will you? Because I'm trying to figure out what is going on why I'm, you know, not seeing these when I'm uh, using Skype and talking to the guests. Anyway, we're going to jump out of here tonight. Hey, it was a good show. You know, it uh, opened my ears up a lot about Bigfoot. Hopefully it answered some questions uh, to you about Bigfoot. So everybody, I want you to, well, have a great evening, stay out of trouble. And uh, what can I say? Good night. Listening to Night Dreams Radio with Gary Anderson.